In this video, I'm gonna show you how even the most basic effort put into your weight loss journey will give you great results. The amount of times I have done simple diets, I don't go hardcore, I don't do too much, I keep it simple and consistent. The amount of times that I lose so much weight and I'm so much happier, life is so much better, I'm not sluggish all of the time. And every single time that I've lost a significant amount of weight, I have tried my best to not overwhelm myself. I have tried my best to keep it as simple as possible. And girl, I'm here to tell you that that's the way to go. Because whenever you want a weight loss journey, you want to do things that you're going to be able to continue doing. If you hear noises, that is obviously my dog. He literally chose to sit next to me when I started talking. He's like, I'm out of here. I guess I'm making too much noise in his head. Regardless, in today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys simple things that you could do in your everyday lives to get closer to your weight loss goals. And the truth, y'all, is your body wants to lose the weight. This is something that I've said to myself over and over, and I've said it to my friend, but I've never said it to you guys. And it is such a true statement because it doesn't make any sense for me to see such drastic results with little effort. And I know for a fact I could be putting more effort in, I could be eating less, but the fact that little alteration little changes they produce such drastic results it's just like no for sure my body wants to lose the weight this temple wants to lose the weight like I feel like my actual body does not want to be big and I'm here to tell you yours don't either like it's not favored we want to be able to be fit we want to be able to walk up the stairs without almost dying that is such a real example oh my gosh call me Mrs. Huff and Puffin because when I go up the stairs baby it's a battle that I always lose getting sidetracked but I have come to that conclusion simply because the results do not lie and I know you can relate to because whenever you go on a diet whenever you change something you always see results and if you don't see results maybe you're not tracking your calories maybe you're not moving as much as you need to but regardless here are some simple things that you can add to your everyday life in order for you to lose weight and it's gonna be easier for you and you're gonna see that your body actually wants to lose the weight it's gonna be mind-blowing I have my iPad right here because I want to fact check everything I know all of this information, but I want to make sure that I'm leading you in the right direction. But y'all, walking, the first thing that you need to do is walk. Not run. You can run, of course, because I do run. But walking can change so, so much. And so many people underestimate walking. They think walking is for old people. Like, girl, you better get your butt up. Or guy, you better get your butt up and go for a walk. If you have a dog, oh, this dog has been saving my life. I went from walking him twice a day to walking him three times a day. And I went from our walks being 10 to 12 minutes to them being 30 minutes and the differences oh stay tuned because how I've been able to lose so much weight with such little effort y'all walking I it's a staple if you don't have a dog if you don't have a pet go on a walk on your own put on a podcast and go walk because you're already gonna listen to that podcast anyways if you have chores around the house do them get off of that couch girl if your job requires you to sit at a desk for nine hours straight get up on your lunch break go for a quick walk while you're on a phone call like incorporate walking into your life is gonna make such a big difference but let's go ahead and fact check this because I want to make sure I give you all the accurate data so we're gonna look up how many calories are burned during a 30 minute walk i'm not playing with y'all depending on your weight you can burn from 100 to 200 calories with 30 minutes of brisk walking so 100 to 200 calories of brisk walking y'all and throughout the entire week you could burn from 500 to a thousand calories just from walking for 30 minutes 30 minutes you know how powerful that is just 30 minutes walking like walking is so easy if you don't have any knee problems or you know body problems of course but walking is so easy just go for a walk it's insane but to think that over the week you can accumulate a total of a thousand calories burnt so if you think about it if you keep your same diet that you have now and you just add 30 minutes of walking to that routine every single day you're gonna be in a deficit because you're burning 100 to 200 calories every single day don't mind this i'm not gonna move it it's gonna be here for aesthetics but it's gonna be moving with me baby so the next simple oh my gosh these are so why does everybody make it seem like losing weight is so so hard so so tough like the toughest part for me is getting into like a diet you get me like getting into like okay i'm gonna start losing weight today that's the toughest toughest part for me but once i am in it once i'm like two days in baby i am in it and the fact that these very simple 
things can make such a big difference anyways number two the second thing that you could do that's very low effort is eat less i'm not saying go on a diet start eating celery and salads only that's not what i said at all and please don't put words in my mouth eat less so guess what whatever you're eating now eat less of it that's it so in my case i'm gonna give you a personal example for me i would eat haitian food i would eat rice chicken and veggies like i would eat food like a regular person would eat right i just started eating less of it i got a smaller bowl i portioned out my rice to be smaller than my meats and my veggies and i eat the same thing i just eat less of it and i find that i don't crave so much bad stuff like i eat enough so my body could feel good and energized and whenever i do go overboard and i eat too much i feel so horrible even though those foods are healthy and also a little sidetrack rice is healthy i don't know why people think whenever you're going on a diet you have to completely eliminate rice girl please do not set yourself up for failure because Whenever you're going on a diet, it needs to be a lifestyle change. You need to be able to maintain whatever you're doing. And me, I know for a fact I cannot maintain just not eating rice. Like, are you crazy? Are you insane? Like, tonight for dinner, I'm going to make macaroni with um, chicken. And I'm going to be eating the macaroni. I'm just going to have a big side of a broccoli on the side. And I'm going to have a way smaller portion of macaroni than I normally do. you understand what I'm saying? Like, it's just like eat in moderation. And when I say whatever you're eating, just eat less of it. If you normally eat a McDonald's Big Mac meal, I don't say go to McDonald's and buy a fry and a shake. Like, stop playing with me. You have common sense. You know exactly what you need to stop eating. If you're eating fried chicken, like, chill out, okay? Eat grilled chicken. Take my words literally, but, and I'm saying this with all the love that I have, but with a bit of common sense too. If you're gonna eat eight slices of pizza, don't eat four and say, I told you you were gonna lose weight. Cause four slices of pizza, that's a lot of calories still. Anyways, number one, brisk walking. Just walking, girl. Like, number two, eat less. And number three, the last thing that I'll tell you guys, because I need this to be as simple and as effective as possible. And this is personally something that I have done that is proven to work. Like, it's given me results. I don't know if you guys can tell. My neck is smaller. My face is smaller. I am losing weight. I am down four pounds. Like, girl, it actually is effective and it works. All you have to do is make sure you're consistent with it. And that is why I told you, make it something that you can do for the rest of your life. Or not the rest of your life, but for the rest of your weight loss journey. Because if you completely eliminate everything that you know you love and you just like, forget it, I'm going to be a whole new person. That's just not ideal unless you want to suffer. These three simple things that I'm telling you, just chef's kiss very low effort and if you're a person that's lazy honestly this is perfect for you too but the last thing is to stop eating after eight o'clock all the effort that this requires is for you to stop eating so if your dinner would normally be at nine or if you normally snack late at night i don't think you should completely stop snacking because that can lead you to like a binging episode but what i do and girl i am telling you personal experiences because it helps me so much and i know there's a person out there that's like me that is struggling so bad but whenever you want to binge at night and eat at night allow yourself fruits only so mango season strawberry season watermelon season they're all here right now i think at least i'm not sure tell yourself you have a rule at nighttime you could only eat fruits if you eat anything so some nights you might be perfectly fine not eating after eight o'clock and you might be perfectly fine just going to sleep that's great but if there's some nights after eight o'clock you're like oh my gosh it's 10 and i am hungry i want to binge even if you're not hungry i want to binge i want to eat something like i just have an appetite for something eat some watermelon eat some cucumber eat some pineapple eat some mango you're allowed to have something just don't deprive yourself too much because you're gonna grow a negative relationship with food you're gonna envy that you can't eat at a certain time so if it's too much for you allow yourself fruits but girl those are my three tips walking eating moderately and not eating past eight except if you have to then eat fruits girl that's it like that is that's literally it that's the cheat code that's the hack that is gonna show you proof that your body wants to lose weight because guess what that is the most minimum effort three steps that you can follow go ahead and follow it for five days five to seven days and then come back to this video and comment Daphne you were right because I know for a fact you're not gonna comment anything else come back and comment Daphne you were right the first person that comments is I'm gonna pin you and shout you out in my next video after the comment but yeah you're welcome I stand by this it works a thousand percent every single time and the last thing that I want to say in this video is your body wants to lose the weight 
So try it out and see. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what other videos you want to see next. And I'm going to see you guys in my next one. Bye. Love you.